Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss about how the forward and reverse direction control is achieved in a single phase induction motor. In three phase induction motor, by simply interchanging any two lines, we can achieve this forward and reverse control. In single phase induction motor, how it is achieved? Before understanding this concept, let us understand what is there inside the single phase induction motor. In specifically, I am going to talk about single phase induction motor which is having a split phase with a capacitor. So here in the picture you can see uh, for a single phase induction motor we have start and running coil and there is a capacitor. The starting coil is connected to the motor only during the starting period. In case if you have a less torque, torque requirement it is connected only in the starting period. In case you need a more torque, then the starting coil also connected permanently so that it provides enough amount of torque. And there is a running coil and there is a capacitor. So the purpose of this capacitor is to split the single phase into two different phase which has 90 degree phase shift so that it can produce a rotating magnetic field. So with this rotating magnetic field only we are going to achieve the torque. Right. So, how the forward and reverse direction is achieved? Here, <clears throat> by changing the direction of current in the starting coil, we can easily achieve the direction control. So, in the first circuit, you can see that the current coming from the line going through the starting coil and then it goes through this path, it ends in the neutral path like this. And for the running coil, the current goes in this way and it goes through this and it will finish in this or it will complete the path in the neutral here. So this is the current path. So both of them going through this same direction. When you want to change the direction of rotation here, what happens? The current flow goes here in the opposite direction to the previous case for the starting coil. So the starting coil the current direction is changed. So before it was coming from here to downside and now it is going in the upward direction. So that means the current direction is changed for the starting coil and for the running coil the direction is going to be same. If you change both of them so the direction will not be changed. So any one coil current direction if you change then automatically the direction of rotation is going to get changed. So how this is uh, practically achieved we will see in the circuit diagram in the upcoming slide. So here you can see the circuit diagram is shown with a control and power circuit. So in the <coughs> power circuit you can see here we have a running coil and we have a starting coil. In the control circuit we are going to have the stop switch to control the process totally to stop the motor and we have forward switch and a reverse switch to keep the motor in forward on condition or reverse on condition and we have forward contactor and reverse contactor here and the respective contacts are being used here. So here I have forward contact and here and I also have here forward contact and similarly the reverse contacts are used here for latching and here and here. Okay, and also I have here forward contact and reverse contact here, right. So now how the function is achieved, let us see. So when we start the process in the forward direction, you are going to operate the forward switch. So the forward switch will be closed and the current flow takes place through this and the forward contactor is going to energize so that it is going to close the circuit here and it is going to open the circuit here and simultaneously it will close the circuit here also here and here as well. So what happens now because of this the current flow takes place to the running coil as similar to that we have the current flow to the starting coil as well this path. So when both the coils are having the current flow then it produces the respective flux and because of this capacitor connected in 
uh, series so it is going to sp split the phase and it is going to produce the rotating magnetic flux <coughs> and the net uh, result the motor is going to run in forward direction and when you want to change the direction you are going to press this stop switch so that the forward direction will be turned off the forward direction contactor will go off and so that here this contact which is open here will go to the nc condition now you are going to operate this reverse switch so this particular switch is going to get closed and now the reverse contactor is getting energized so it will open here so this is called interlocking it will open here and it will close the latching here and here you can see it closes these two contacts and also this contact so now the current flow takes place to the running coil in the same direction no direction change but here in the starting contactor the current flow direction is changed so it will go in this path so before for the starting uh, for the forward contactor the current was going through this path but now the current is coming in this direction so the direction of current to the starting coil is changed so that the the motor starting condition the motor start run in the reverse direction and after few seconds even though the start coil is removed removed still the motor runs in the same direction okay so this is how the forward and reverse direction changing is achieved this is the control circuit and let us see the wiring diagram so what happens during forward and what happens during reverse contactor is getting actuated by the help of forward and reverse switches so when the forward switch is getting closed so the current flow is going to takes place from this switch it goes through this and then it goes to here through this path and <coughs> in the reverse contactor closed the car switch it comes to the forward contactor coil and from here it goes to the overload nc contact and then finally it goes to the neutral path like this neutral path so this this is how the current path is getting closed and because of this the forward contactor getting energized so the forward contact here will get close when this forward contactor is getting closed it the forward switch is going to get latched like this the forward con forward switch is going to get latched like this and here because of the same result the current start flowing in the direction here in the back black arrow mark direction you can see the current start flowing here in this path and it is coming to the starting and running coil so it goes in this path you can follow the black arrow mark and the current is flowing through this path so when the current is flowing through this path and it goes to the neutral it goes to this neutral through this path okay so this is for forward direction so when you want to change the direction of rotation so you are going to operate the off but off switch or off push button then you, you can see when you operate the reverse switch so the switch is getting closed and the current flow start flowing through this path and then <coughs> it goes to it goes in this way and it comes through this path through the forward nc contact and it comes to the reverse contactor coil and it goes to the same overload nc contact and it goes to the neutral like this this is the control circuit and because of this reverse contactor getting energized the reverse contact is going to getting latched so this is the reverse contact which is used for latching this switch so it is going to latch this particular switch so it is going to uh, continuously allow the current flow through this path this path though the switch is being released so because of the latching the current flow would 
continuously flow through this. So at the same time here what is going to happen in the reverse contactor the current start uh, flowing. You can see in this picture the current start flowing through this contact and it goes in this direction here like this and it follows this arrow mark. It goes through this way. So when it is the current is going in this direction so the direction of the current flow is changed before uh, far forward the current was flowing in this direction now the direction is changed so it goes through this path like this and it goes to neutral it goes to neutral like this so the direction of current uh, flow is changed in a starting coil so that the direction of rotation can be changed so we can achieve the forward and reverse control. So this is the overall current flow in the forward direction as well as in the reverse direction. Hope it is clear. If you have any doubts, please let me know in the chat box so that I can clarify your doubts. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching.